guys, oh, welcome to Akashic Affirmations. My name is Angel, and welcome to your calling your inner shaman reading. We have a lot going on with the planets, um, and um, I was well aware of what was about to happen, so um, that's why I tried to fit this reading in over the course of um, a couple of months, besides your um, your monthly zodiac reading. We will be using, like I said, the shamanic, um, the mystical shaman oracle, as well as the divine energy oracle, and messages from your animal spirit guides. Um, I also will be getting you a room card as well. <clears throat> And, um, we will see how it goes. I do have, um, of course, two tarot decks, um, available waiting. Uh, with the way I'm going to do this is, this is going to be a reading, um, straight out of the book, okay? And it's because of how we need to progress, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, if you know anything about the tarot, um, that's destiny, okay? Coming in to change things. Now, especially if you are, if you're being affected in your chart with these eclipses going on right now, um, that's why I wanted to get these reading, uh, readings out to you. We're going to be fooling um, with the direction of the winds. Okay, the card of the south, this is going to be the hidden treasures in the medicine wheel. Okay, it's a four card reading. Uh, it The south represents that which you need to let go of and what needs to be shed. Um, it could be an old wound that you no longer need to define yourself by. Um, card number two in the west, this represents a part of you that needs to die. Um, it's an old story that needs to be let go of so that you may find a new meaningful story for your life. Number three in the north represents the wisdom that you need to acquire. You have learned the lessons from the south and the west cards. The wisdom is ready to mature within you. What is, what is your great medicine that you are ready to embrace? What are you deeply buried? What are your deeply buried treasures that you have become, that have become available to you now? And in the fourth position, we have the card in the East that represents your possible destiny, the way that you will share your treasures and your gifts with others. Okay. Now, in this reading, you will discover some hidden resources that were buried within you. Okay. Hopefully, this will. Un be uncovered so that you are aware of these um, and it will um, be based on the four cardinal directions okay As I was just praying. Um, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. Libra will be the focus. And I will be reading directly from the book, Libra. Um, 
I did just hear a man whisper very quietly. I couldn't hear what he said though. Could be your shaman stepping in. Okay guys, this card in the south, which represents what you need to let go of, what you need to shed. Um, an old wound that's no longer needed to define yourself as the Andean cross. I don't know if you can see it well, but the Andean cross in the south, card number two. And I will read directly from the book. Um, in the west, we have the card of the part of you that needs to die. This is an old story that needs to be let go of so that you may find a new meaningful story for your life. And it says corn. The corn. Okay, in the north, we have which represents the wisdom that you need to acquire. The time master. In the north and your possible destiny in the east which you will share right the owl <clears throat> okay guys so in the south you have the Andean cross the Andean cross represents the cosmology of the shaman. It depicts the four cardinal directions, the upper and lower worlds, and the steps to reach these realms. The hole in the center is a gateway to interdimensional travel. Um, so the hole in the center, so if you want to um, meditate upon this image. I will try. But the hole in the center represents interdimensional travel and proverbial eye of the needle so we can all go through to experience higher states of awareness and wisdom and to break free of linear time. The Andean Cross announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to that which until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a reastounding yes. The medicine. The time has passed and the window of opportunity has closed. Now is not the moment to take that leap you have been over preparing for. It is best to wait until conditions in heaven line up again to offer you a more pro propitious, pro piteous, p r o p i t i o u s moment. Any bold action you take now will require tremendous elf effort on your part just as important as knowing when to act, when to return to your inner stillness and wait for more favorable times. And in the West, which represents a part of you that needs to die, the old story that needs to be let go of so you can find a new meaningful story for your life, you have the corn Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provide, provides stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. You planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments <clears throat> excuse me, when you were losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this 
and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust, whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in equal in equality rather than quantity. You are so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. Beware of shortcuts to your dreams or a fast track being offered to you now. It's especially mindful of your feelings of entitlement or an expectation to get something for nothing. This is a time for gratitude, perseverance, and humility. Be prepared to work towards your goals and plant the seeds of your intentions consciously and respectfully. Release any insecure thoughts of scarcity, feeling that there is not enough, or worry that someone else could take what is yours. Know that the universe will always provide, but you must be in a relationship with it in order to receive. You will reap what you sow. Take heart, even if you don't plant well and have conjured up the illusion of a drought. There is always a new season to begin again. And in the north, we have, which represents the wisdom that you need to require. You have learned lessons from the south and the west. What wisdom is ready to mature within you? Let's find out. Time Master. Time is a construct of the human mind through which life events are seen to flow in a straight line from past to future. This, however, is an illusion. Time moves in patterns, fractals, sometimes turning like a wheel and others moving straight as an arrow. Humans see time like a ticking clock. And this image reminds us that there is only so much of it to spend in a life. Like a kind of currency, at any given moment you can see time in all its infinite potential, at once vast and all encompassing, then shrunken into finite, fin, finite, you know, like infinite, it all depends on perspective. When the Time Master visits you, he asks a most important question. Will you break free from limited cause and effect thinking by moving beyond the linear, linear illusion and welcoming the solidic quality of time? You find yourself in a moment when the wheel of time turns and you're able to influence the past thus changing the present and future simultaneously. This is the true test of the Time Master. You're being invited to take back your power, so let go of the past and choose to step into your life. In this moment, you are all powerful. powerful. You are the Time Master. Anything is possible now. Sometimes it appears that you were running out of time. And when I looked up, I seen this car twinkling over here. You, okay, sometime it appears that you are running out of time. You worry you won't get what you need or want. Everything gets stuck like a log jam, a log jam, a log jam. I'm sorry, a log jam. This is only in your mind. Time expands and contracts according to your ability to be mindful and observant. Fully engage in your now. It's time to release the story of your past. Equally, it's time to release your need to know the details of the future. All the treasure magically reveals itself when you remain relaxed and present to what is directly in front of you and nothing else. Then you realize you have all the time in the world. You will never run out of it. <laughs> and in the East, 
we have the card that represents your possible destiny the way that you will share your treasures and gifts with others you have the owl Owl is the manner of the master of the night. She can see situations with perfect clarity, more so when it is dark, and it is able to discern truth when others are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl, owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. Look around you, notice every detail and find the hidden messages brought to you by Owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friend who shows you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facts of the diamond without judgment. Remember that the, the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognize. Do not be afraid of the truth as it will become your compass. Owl guards against self-deception and insists that your motives be pure and transparent to all. What is the message that you are not hearing? The situation you are not seeing with clarity. I will invite you to wait patiently. Bide your time until it is right to act. Then do so decisively with no hesitation or remorse. Guys, I hope this reading is a resonating. We're going to um, I want to clarify some of this. This is what you have to edit the ending cross. This to me is a gateway. I want to say this time is on your side this is a gateway card okay a doorway study upon this image you may want to um, to snap a picture of it okay meditate on this door what I'm seeing is um, over time You have put yourself in a position where um, you see that abundance and prosperity are above all at the moment. Um, as time goes on, you're going to understand that love has a lot more to do with it than prosperity is what it was saying. But I think with the Time Master here, you're realizing that um, you are under illusion. That's what you need to let go of. Because um, I do believe last Lionsgate. I had the owl, the owl um, symbolizing um, in my energy everywhere. Um, I had to go out into nature uh, to observe him. He was actually at my window, hooting at my window. And waking me up so I went outside and sat with him matter of fact I did a YouTube video sitting twice around the um, the eclipse that happened just before Lionsgate and that may be where you come through this portal let's see the Andean cross conflicts 
when it comes to what's seen. So you weren't seeing it. You were not seeing for it for what it was. The abundance. Oh, you was acting childlike. The way you were feeding yourself, you was acting childlike when it comes to abundance. The time master. Oh, it's broke your heart. I'm going to take three since it gave me a three. Okay, so you needed to nurture a new path. Because your heart's been broken so many times when it comes to nurturing things, I think. When it comes to something new, I think uh, time has um, shown you a new path. And with the owl, here's the new path. This is your possible destiny. A commitment to a twin flame. Are you getting married? This could possibly indicate it. The new beginning, nurturing, healing this broken heart. Seeing it as time goes on that none of this matters. It's all about you nurturing this new beginning. And now I see that you're coming out of illusion that seeing that this is a committed or uh, twin flame relationship. Hmm. You know, both of you guys, um, if you're in a twin flame relationship, you'll have to come equally yoked. Okay, and uh, bottom of the deck here is investing, where you plant your seeds, where you invest your, um, your time and efforts. Okay, but I'm going to clean this up, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're going to see what the, the, the Divine Energy Oracle wants to tell you. The Libra. Calling their inner shaman reading. in my head. Okay. Here we go. Imagine solutions to your problems. And there's that commitment. Keep your commitment. Imagine solutions actually working out if you kept a commitment and you let go and enjoy life. Wow. Okay. So imagine, I don't know if these are in alphabetical order. So imagine there being a solution. You may feel overwhelmed by problems for which there doesn't seem to be any immediate solution. You may even feel trapped by unpleasant circumstances over which you have no control. Well, this is not the case. Your divine energy is calling you to look more deeply within to find creative solutions to your dilemma. You are never stuck, nor are you required to agree to anything that doesn't serve your highest good ever workable solutions will appear when you believe they exist see your present condition through the eyes of your higher self your divine invitation use your creative imagination to guide you 
out of present challenges and onto higher ground. Begin by naming your obstacles honestly and accurately. Next, imagine as many solutions to the problem you face as possible. Write them down so that you can see them on paper. Call upon your divine energy to inspire you as you write. Things will change for the better the moment you use your power of imagination to solve problems. So they're saying there is a way for you to be happy. Um, you may want to weigh everything out. Okay, my mom used to tell me that. Get a piece of paper, weigh the odds for you or against you. And and be honest with yourself. If there are more against, you know, the path that you're trying to go, you're not going to fulfill your destiny. It's going to, like I said, you're not stuck. You need to choose another path. Keep your, <clears throat> excuse me, commitments. Be mindful of the commitments you make, implied or otherwise, and avoid agreements you are unable to see through. Keep your promises and honor your word in all situations. Respect yourself and others with what you say and how you say it. Be clear, gentle, and speak with intention and integrity. Your ego may distort your view and lead you away from your authentic communication, so be aware. Your reputation can either be established or lost at this time. Your divine energy is guiding you to remain in alignment with your highest self and protect your reputation at all costs. Your divine energy is calling you to embody integrity and humility in your communication and in your intentions. Embrace and respect your spiritual responsibilities and be fair in your dealings with others. Your divine invitation. Reign in your ego and listen to your spirit. Be calm and available to the deepest guidance from within. You are in a place of great influence and it will either earn or lose the respect of others, depending on your intentions and how they are expressed. All is obvious. Keep your promises and Fulfill your obligations. Make no excuses. Simply put, be a person others are fully able to trust. So let go and enjoy, guys. Let's see. Are you feeling bored, restless, or tired of the same old, same old? Are you bogged down with so many daily duties that you see no way to attend to your creative interests? Your divine energy is calling you to break free of your overtaxing duties and engage in more uplifting activities. There is no reason you cannot do this. Shake off the illusion that there is no time for enjoyment. You need to step back and have some fun. Life is waiting for you. Don't put it off any longer. Your divine invitation. Peacefully and joyfully accept the routine demands of your daily life with patience, love, and the willingness to serve. Recognize the gifts, but know when to step away and refresh yourself. Move through each day with elegance, ease, and determined grace. This is possible if your day includes activities that you enjoy, even if it's only for a few minutes, do it. You don't have to do great things 
to live a purposeful life. Rather, do all the little things with genuine love and a desire to be of service. Then, go have some fun. This is the sign of a true spiritual evolution. Ooh, I got the chills. So they're saying, go have some fun. Look at this, they're coming up. Oh, my hair is standing on edge, guys. So let's see, imagine the solutions. Imagine that you can live in the now moment, have your duties taken care of, your commitments being taken care of, right? But having fun too. Spirits asking you to stop being so hard on yourself. Relax. Life does not have to be one big ball of stress. So the accolades come to you, okay, the solutions to the problems come to you when you make a head over heart decision to walk away from the motions of something. What is bothering your heart? Okay. Make that logical decision. Whatever's eating at you, imagine the solutions if you make that logical choice. Keep your commitments. Um, I see that, uh, uh, and I want to, I definitely want to clarify this a little deeper. Um, keeping your commitments. You have either been left out in the cold when it came to a loving relationship that you had a foundation with. Um, there was a bunch of problems when it came to your, you and this person coming together. But I see that, um, This is where you're going to have to be brave to keep your obligations when it comes to either being left out of the union, the loving partnership, you're actually being left out. So Spirit's asking you to... Um, Keep your commitment. Okay, this is a commitment. Okay, both of y'all are coming together for happiness. This is a path. This is a path. Y'all both chose the path. This is a disturbance between lovers. Okay, it's it's a a contemplation. There's differences between you, and it's to do with either being left out in a cold or walking away. Okay, let go and enjoy. So the decision that needs to be made, it needs to come from um, what you've acquired over the years when it comes to what you've learned. What did you learn when it comes to being stable? What decisions did Spirit teach you that you did not want to make? What happened when you didn't want to make those decisions that Spirit was asking you to be stable about? Okay, sometimes 
you need to use your intuition to be stable and I see in this reading it's a lot to do about a Libra reading this is a typical Libra reading in um, making you know a balanced decision but imagine the solutions if you were balanced if you were feeding your heart and your soul and making logical decisions imagine where you would be if you walked away from all of this this emotional crap that you don't even need anymore it's it's a, it's needless emotions that you're you're holding on to okay imagine if you were free of it see you walk away imagine if you made the decision to use your wisdom and guidance just to say you know what I'm stable everything grows around me and I've mastered the action where I can let, let go and enjoy now so whatever you are um, when you're ready to release this the victory comes when you release it it's going to be the solution to all your problems that way you can let go and enjoy but whatever happened between this right here the decision is made you need to stand in your integrity that is an honorable person because he knows his value he knows his worth he knows everything grows around him and people can actually feed off of him okay take that new path that new tangible path towards this okay this is a brand new way of being see he's got a little pinnacle now he's the master of it so spirit's acts and you make that decision that you don't want to make use spirituality if you need to okay this is a very spiritual uh, card high priestess using your knowledge your, your wisdom your experience that you've acquired over the years. Okay, with sources help. Okay, guys, um, let's see. Let's get you a room. What do they need to work on? This is the ancient form of uh, stone divination but um, I bought the card so my runes are kind of getting ruined and you have two protection algies protection assistance advancement persistence guardian spirit divine intervention mysticism this is uh, your rose this is wild <clears throat> ox, okay? <clears throat> this is your strength and where your courage comes from. This is your drive, your determination, okay? Opportunities, initiation, life change. This is destiny. This is the wheel of fortune. Things are changing. Your spirit guides here, giving you <clears throat> the assistance needed. Okay, giving you the protection needed. Let's see what animal spirit messages we have for you. The Libra, calling your inner shaman. Vigilant about the current situation 
Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. So, pay attention to what is going on around you. What signs are you seeing? Okay, and the best way to see these signs, and I'm going to tell you straight up, do this, and I'm telling you, it will happen. Go balance your chakras, okay, do what meditation on YouTube, balance them. Okay, start right, do a guided meditation to balance your chakras. And it doesn't take long, you can do like a, a, uh, a I like to do about a 35 to 45 minute chakra balance. That way I can spend a little time um, doing my breathing work and aligning them. After that, do you a third eye meditation. Spirit will show you what you need to see. Now, if this doesn't help, which it always does for me, there's another course of action you can take. For seven days, if you have not, just pay attention, okay? If you have not seen them, seen the signs, the omens, the synchronicities, okay, symbolisms, ask spirit for the truth, ask source to let you see what you're not willing, <clears throat> what your heart is not willing to let you see, get you seven bay leaves, and over the course of every single night, starting with Sunday, or I usually start with Sunday, burn you one bay leaf, just one, every night before you go to bed, and ask Spirit, Spirit, I need to see my truth, not for anyone else's causes, motivations. This is all for my higher good and what I have not allowed myself to see. And within seven days, you'll find your answer. And guys, may the angels and the shamans help you out with this. Um, I can read exactly, uh, before we get off, I'll read to you exactly what Walrus says. Signs and omens show up in a myriad ways, in my word, myriad ways. From the winds rustle of the trees that make it seem as if they're whispering to you at a barely audible level. Remember, heard that the, the shaman earlier, it was a guy, um, to the rainbow that appears just before an event in which you're participating. When you're pondering any kind of question about your life's purpose, relationships, career, or even everyday concerns, concern, such as whether and to actually take the vacation that you've been planning, you can ask spirit to give you a clear and specific sign. Then watch, listen, feel, and allow thoughts to flow. While you may not always get absolutely clear responses, more often than not, you'll pick up on signs or clues through your eyes, ears, sensations in your body, or thoughts that seem to come out of the blue. You may even have vivid and remarkably lucid dreams that you can easily recall in the morning. Look for the unusual and repetitious. For example, if you hear someone at the supermarket talking about Phoenix, aud audibly, okay, auditory, spot a billboard 
advertisement with the word Phoenix prominently displayed visually, then and then recall a period of time when you lived in that city, feeling a calmness and joy, sensations when you bring up that memory. This is cognitive. These are all clues. It could be about the city of Phoenix, Arizona, or it could be a subtle way that the spirit guide Phoenix is calling to you, offering his help when you're ending one cycle completely and beginning the next one. As in the metaphor, of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Omens are perceived in the four ways mentioned. If you don't get clear signs right away, keep your question or concern in your consciousness for the next few days. Journal about anything you find significant and look for repetition. When you see an animal or a symbol for that animal showing up repetitively, it's most likely an indication that your spirit guide is present. Trust the signs and your discernment of them as your one significant way, as their one significant way that spirit guides you along your path. Okay, so transitions. Um, earth and water are really one of the omens you need to really keep an eye out for shamanism shamanism check that out look it's a shamanism hmm oh that gave me the chills no wonder they told me to read it Ooh, really? okay all right guys um I hope this gives you some insight to what you need to release and let go of in this uh, eclipse energy. And don't forget, guys, that this is we're going to be receiving this all the way through uh, the moon. Um, lost my train of thought. Through August 12th. Okay, we're going to have three super moons and two eclipses. Okay. So uh, hopefully this will help you through um, this difficult period and to see what we need to release. Okay, Libra. I love y'all. Namaste.